my question is I used to stay in southern Nigeria. Now I'm now moved to northern Nigeria. There is a practice of combining Maghrib and Ishai whenever it's raining season. So regardless of the weather, whether there is sign of rainfall or there's no rainfall, they combine prayer Maghrib and Ishai almost every time, even without rainfall. It's now like a fixed uh, thing for them, they no longer look at the weather, probably it is raining or not. But once it is this period of raining, since they combine Maghrib and the Shai every day. So I want to ask if it's okay like that, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abdullah, from Nigeria. Whether from the north or living in the south, whether in Kano, Lagos, or anywhere in Nigeria, may Allah bless you all. The Almighty Allah said in Surah An-Nisa, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا مَوْقُوتًا Verily, the prayer has been ordained upon the believers to be offered during fixed times. And Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in two consecutive days, in front of the Kaaba, close to the door of the Kaaba, and he led him in the five daily prayers, in the first day, at the earliest time of each prayer. And then in the following day, he led the five daily prayers with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa praying behind him at the time of the latest time for each prayer in order to inform him and the entire ummah about when to pray and what is the first and the last time for each prayer. Then postponing the prayer after its due time is haram. And offering any prayer before its due time without a cause or a concession makes it invalid. What are the concessions which give us the permission to join two prayers at the time of either one of them, whether the earlier prayer or the later prayer? In the case of heavy rain, not any rainfall, heavy rain, which will prevent the Musalleen from going to the masjid. Which also means that women at home or those who are praying in their residency, they do not combine the prayers. It's only for those who go to the masjid because the roads are slippery. There is a risk. There is a danger. So we say, we prayed Maghrib, it started raining heavily. So we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What are you doing? We're calling Iqama to pray Isha. Four rak'ahs, not shortening in the prayer because we're resident. Why? Because the Prophet وسلم, shortened the prayer. Because the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, combined the prayers of the daytime together and the nighttime together during heavy rain, also during fear and sickness. So, sickness if a person is very sick, bedridden, at home, in the hospital. They're allowed to pray Zohra and As together at the time of either one of them. Maghrib and Isha together at the time of either one of them. But to say it's winter time, let's go ahead and combine Maghrib and Isha at the time of Maghrib all the time without a rainfall, that makes the prayer invalid. It is not permissible to pray any prayer earlier than its time on regular basis for no excuse no concession or reason.